Okay, good evening, everybody. I'm going to do another stencil tutorial. That's S T E N C Y L um, dot com, where you can get this software in order to create uh, your game. Uh, real easy platform games or RPG games or any kind of game you really want. You can really go to town, except for it only does like two dimensional. So you can either do top down or uh, sideways. It doesn't really do three dimensional. Uh, you can make it look like it's three-dimensional, but it's not made for 3D art and all that other stuff. So, um, um, as we see, we got Mumbo. He's on a scene, and as you can see, the scene has platforms that go up and down and left and right. Uh, we're going to make it kind of a little, like, challenge type thing for him to get to the end. But there's one twist in here um, that the scene itself continues to move. Um... So Mumbo has to keep moving. I got it set that the scene will take off on its own once we start the uh, um, game. So we want to try and stay in front of the edge of the scene. And you'll see it moving. And Okay, so let's do the test scene so you can see what I'm talking about. And then I'll go back and tell you how I did it. Okay, as you can see, he's still standing, but the scene all of a sudden starts moving, and so I got I gotta try and keep him in front of the 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 scene before it uh, uh, catches up to him. Uh, uh. Oh, I missed. Uh. I may die. I may die. Oh, oh. Nope. I made it to the end. Okay, I don't have a region or anything in here for him to uh, uh, um, do anything. So, I don't... Oh, I know why... <laughs> that was even funnier. Uh, I know why it did what it did here uh, when I died in uh, Scene Reloaded. It's, it's because of the uh, piece that I have in there. So, um, basically, I have to restart the whole thing in order to make it work again. Okay. So I'll show you what I did in order to get it to do that. Okay, we have Mumbo, but we also have another character in here. He could be a doodad, he could be a thingamabob, he could be whatever you want. But he, he has no collision, so he, he just cruises over top of everything. Um, so I have him set as Ghost. He's currently an actor type due to, I just wanted to show you how I did it. As you can see, his main picture is nothing, but if I went in here and I set his uh, picture, which is a copy of Mumbo, now when we go back to Runner, you can see that he's on the screen, and when he hit about center of the screen, the camera was following him, which pushed the screen to the side. Now, he cannot leave the scene, so when he gets to the end, he stops, but Mumbo is set that he can exit the scene and die. And that's how they do it in like Super Mario and a few other games where the scene moves forward. You could have Bowser or whatever or a monster chasing your guy or whatever. And that would be what forces the scene forward too. Um, they did that in Mario also is that they had Bowser coming out of the side which forced the scene to move. So it's really up to you what you want to do. Uh, how you want to do it. Like I said, I did it with an easy, simple way to do it. As I created a character called Ghost. I set him to invisible so nobody could see him. And then we go into Ghost's properties under behavior. Ghost has camera follow. That means that the camera will follow him wherever he goes. Then uh, cannot exit the scene. That means once he gets to the end, he'll stop. He's got a starting velocity of uh, 7.5 is his speed. So you could go faster if you wanted or slower. 7.5 seemed like it was just fine um, for this demonstration. But really it's up to you if you want to make something like uh, Elf Run or whatever. Where the game just keeps constantly getting faster and faster. Make sure that your character can run faster than the screen itself. At 7.5 Mumbo was... 
doing okay to stay ahead of the screen. Um, so that's basically how this was done was I just hit him on the screen. He had a starting velocity. He started moving across the screen and when he got to the end, he stopped. So if you wanted to have your end region or whatever set over here, when Mumbo finally got here, that would be working. Um, if you wanted to change it to go back the other direction, you wouldn't want to have it to where he couldn't get back over. And so when your guy got to here, he would kill himself and create another one going back the opposite direction. That's one way to do it. Or if you wanted to have it set for the width of this here, which is the 480 by 620, and you just wanted it to shake side and side to side a little bit, you would just have it to where your guy would uh, have camera follows, and once he goes out the edge a little bit, it, it would move the screen over just a hair, and then he'd come back into the scene, and he'd move it back the other direction. And his velocity would be more, because you want him to, like, basically race back and forth across the screen giving it that uh, constant motion okay so that's how it was done uh, again we have a character called ghost he has camera follows cannot exit screen starting velocity of a 7.5 which was pretty good his uh, um, collisions it really doesn't matter um, because you can go in here and put him under uh, um, like uh, doodads which means he can't touch anything. So even if you had uh, a landscape there or another character there, he would just go through it. Also, items and stuff like that. You could set him as an item so that he could pass through other stuff. And then you would have to just go in here under Edit Groups. And it says Collides With Stuff. This is a special group uh, whose members never are allowed to collide with anything. Is why I put it under Doodads. So even if there was platforms and stuff there, he would pass through it. Okay? And that's how it was done. Hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you in the next one.